you have all watched these animated films. No worries for the rest of your days. Yeah, say it, kid. Finding you can change, learning you were wrong. But who was the mastermind behind these 20th century animated masterpieces? While most of you would say the Imagineer, Walt Disney, he had some help bringing his visions to life. Meet John Nash Ott, one of the great founders of time-lapse photography. Time-lapse photography is the opposite of slow motion, in which the pictures are placed in order and sped up to incredible speeds. There could be months to years worth of pictures in one short film sequence. In John Nash Ott's experiments, he focused his photography on the full growth cycle of plants. John Nash Ott seemed to always be interested in time-lapse photography. In fact, he wrote in his novel, My Ivory Cellar, how as a high school student, he took his first time-lapse picture of apple blossoms, although they did not turn out very well. Ott had a debilitating eye condition, causing him to miss school and not attend college. Ott began working as a stockbroker and then later decided to go to college to become a Chicago banker. He continued his interest in time-lapse photography keeping it mainly as a hobby instead of an occupation. Ott decided to build on his curiosities by constructing a greenhouse in his backyard to house his plants. Stephen Maggie's book, Toxic Light, mentions that cells that were only exposed to fluorescent lights in that greenhouse became mutated and disfigured, which led Ott to wonder what artificial light does to the human body. Ott used this genetic and behavior-altering information to conclude that the color of the light can affect the mental health in humans. How Ott found this information was a completely different story. In addition to building his greenhouse, Ott took his world-famous pictures through his original kitchen clock timer. According to Ott in his novel My Ivory Cellar, the timer for the clock had two circuits, one to turn the lights on and off, and the second to trip the camera. This camera captured thousands of pictures of the growth cycle of plants, even when Ott wasn't there to take them. Time-lapse picture of an iris, which is a nocturnal or night-blooming flower. This is a hibiscus, which blooms during the daytime. And here is a camellia that blooms according to a relationship between temperature and the dark nighttime period. Now, what does John Nash Ott have to do with Walt Disney? In Anton Rahimni's article, he explains how Ott's time-lapse photography techniques were utilized in films such as Walt Disney's Nature's Half Acre. His methods continued to be used in many of Walt Disney's animated movies afterwards. To replicate his experiment, I made a time-lapse of my own. I set ice cubes out on a table and periodically took pictures as they melted, changing from a solid to a liquid in less than two hours. While it was not the beautiful plants that John Nash Ott captured, my experiment did show the transformation over time. I learned that it is extremely tedious to take pictures of the same object for two hours, much less over several months John Ott took his pictures. Time-lapse photography is an art that involves dedication and perseverance. Through his commitment to this new technology, John Nash Ott is truly the father of time-lapse photography.